Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain duck typing in Python, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. I hope you all like ducks because that's the topic of this video. Duck typing is the concept where the class of an object is less important than the methods and or attributes that that class might have. The class type is not checked if the minimum methods and or attributes are present. It's based off of a popular phrase, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it must be a duck. Here's an example. I have two classes, class duck and class chicken. Both duck and chicken have walk and talk methods, but they print something different. With the duck class, the walk method will print this duck is walking, and the duck talk method will print, this duck is quacking. The chicken class has the same named methods, walk and talk, but they print something slightly different, a slightly different variation. The print method will print, this chicken is walking, and the talk method will print, this chicken is clucking. Now let's say we have a third class, a class called person. Now there is one method within our person class, Let's say we're attempting to catch a duck. We'll pass in self, and we need to pass in a duck object as an argument. So let's type duck. Now within this method, we'll have our duck use its walk method, as well as its talk method, duck.walk and duck.talk. And then maybe we'll print something, such as you caught the Critter. Now let's create an object from each of these classes. Let's create a duck object. Duck equals duck. A chicken object. Chicken equals chicken. And lastly, person. Person equals person. Now, if we would like our person to use the catch method, we need to pass in a duck as an argument. So with our person, let's type person.catch. And we need to send a duck object because that's a required parameter here. So we're passing in our duck object that we created, and as soon as we catch the duck, it's going to use its walk and talk method, and then we'll print, you caught the critter. So as you would expect, this will print, this duck is walking, this duck is quacking, you caught the critter. Now, with duck typing, we can pass in a different type of object as long as it has the same methods and or attributes as our duck. We could pass in a chicken because a chicken can also walk and talk. So this time, let's pass in our chicken as an argument. And this will still work even though our parameter is set up to take a duck object. This chicken is walking, this chicken is clucking, you caught the critter. In layman's terms, think of it like this. Python is examining this chicken object, it's using its walk method, it's using its talk method, which are required, and Python is saying, well, that's close enough. Remember, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it must be a duck. So duck typing is the concept where the class of an object is less important than the methods and or attributes that it might have. The class type is not checked if the minimum methods and or attributes are present. Now let's say with our chicken object, our chicken can no longer walk. Well, we cannot pass in our chicken object anymore. We have an attribute error. Chicken object has no attribute walk. So Python took a look at this chicken and noticed that it does not have a walk method. Well, it's not walking like a duck, but it's talking like a duck, so it doesn't count as a duck because it doesn't have its walk method. In conclusion, the class type of an object is not as important as the methods and or attributes that that class might have when using duck typing. The class type will not be checked if the minimum methods and or attributes are present. Since chickens can both walk and talk like ducks, then they can be a substitute for ducks when we pass in our duck object to this method. So if you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this in the comment section down below. But yeah, that is the basics of duck typing in Python. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.